Yo, yo, so, you know what? This morning, I just finally finished reading this book, The Sales Bible by Jeffrey Gittimer. You know the guy, he's always wearing red. Um, he has written several books, and he is known as the sales guru. He's been in sales for over 30, 40 years, and he has written this fantastic book called The Sales Bible. So, I picked up this book last year, finally had a chance to read it. it took me about two weeks to read this book. And uh, this book is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I have to say that the concepts in this book will definitely help you in terms of improving your sales. I've wrote down pages of, of notes on, on this and I've already applied it in my life. So um, on my whiteboard, maybe I'll just show you my whiteboard. So this is my whiteboard there, as you can see there. So I wrote down the quote. Um, so you can't, oh, hang on. I wrote down, every no gets you close to a yes. You get great at sales day by day, but not in a day. So, and this table here, no yes percentage. This is, when I make a, a cold call, I just write down a number there, and if it's a no, it's put down a, a mark there. And I try and track how many times I achieve a yes, and then I measure my conversion rate. So, that's a result of um, of reading Jeffrey Gittimer's books, The Sales Bible. So, in, in the book, there's a lot of really good um, concepts in the book. So, you can tell that he knows what he's talking about. He's been in the trenches. So. Uh, let me just go through the, the table of contents, if I can find it, and just give you what, um, basically what it covers. So he gives you the rules on, on sales, how to wow the prospect, how to introduce yourself, how to manage objections, making presentations, um, networking, profits, up your income, social media stuff, and then that's pretty much it. So... Um, the way it's written is really funny. I love reading it. To me, this is an entertainment book. So I'm reading a real estate book at the moment. And when I'm done reading that, I go straight to sales. And I'm looking forward to reading this because it's so much more fun reading than a, in a real estate book. It's so dry when it, reading real estate. But anyway, um, the, the concepts in this book is the way you read, the way he teaches it is really easy to, to learn. There's a lot of pictures in here. So he's, he's got some cartoons here and there. It makes you laugh and it helps you with your learning. Um, so... If you make a sale, you earn a commission. If you make a friend, you earn a fortune. That's a really good one. I'm just going to start reading through some of the quotes and some of the parts I've highlighted. I'm amazed at the salespeople who make a sale and move on to the next prospect. I challenge you to carefully and honestly look at your customer list. I'll bet there'll be hundreds of opportunities to sell something. So he's talking about prospecting. It's important to do prospecting. Oh yeah, make a sale on Monday. That's a really good quote. So when you enter work on Monday, uh, you tend to be dragging your feet. You can't be bothered. I totally get that. But just try and change it. So make it a sale on Monday. Okay. Uh, the biggest secret, keep your pipeline full. So he's talking about always keep your pipeline full. Don't get lazy. Um, make appointments. Listen to CDs. Make, make sales. It, it is simple. It just isn't easy. But if you work intensely, you can do it. So the concepts of being successful at sales is very easy. It's very easy. I mean, it's very simple, but it's not easy to do. It's, you know, all you got to do is make those calls, hit those numbers, and you'll be able to make sales. But is it easy? No, it's not easy. Okay? It's simple to do, but it's not easy. Uh, working on your personal mission statement. Oh, yeah, this is one of my favorite um, mission statements that he said. He says, sell like crazy, rake in the dough, buy lots of cool stuff. That's cool. The book of humor. So uh, one thing that Jeffrey really emphasizes is being more humorous. So I believe, I love adding humor to my sales presentations because it really disarms people. It really helps them to relax and accept your message. So try and incorporate more humor into your sales. Uh, oh yeah, to sell or not to sell, that is a power question. So there was a really good part where he talks about when someone asks you a buying question, right? So how much does it cost? You don't want to just give them an answer, like a yes or no answer, or just one answer and that's it. You want to come back with a question so this will help you with the closing. So for example, um, how much does it cost? You don't want to say, oh, it's $100 and that's it. You want to say, um, you want to work, you want to come back with a question and say, well, if I were to um, give you the price, would, that, would you be able to make a decision based on that? And if they say yes, okay, great. Well, the, um, what is your budget? Okay, oh, my budget's $100. Okay, fantastic. Well, the, the price of the product is actually 200 which is double what you're looking for. But what I can do, I can work on the, some numbers and we'll be able to reduce it down to that price. Does that feel, sound fair enough? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. You know, there, there it is. So that, that was one big thing that I learned there. 
uh, do, do, do questions breed sales as you know you got to ask lots of good questions and do, 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 do. Um, want to make this sale easier establish prospect pro okay yeah you obviously got to build rapport so when you're on the phone when you're cold calling you want to get to the point in 15 seconds be happy and humorous get to know something personal about the prospect and nail down the appointment so when you're on a prospect call you don't want to be selling your your product and service and expecting them to buy straight away you're selling an appointment so if they were to sign up to uh, if they were to attend the appointment then they'll get x value there you're selling the appointment so there's a lot more content in this book the sales bible by jeffrey kidema it's a fantastic book highly 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 recommend for you to read this check it out i love this book it's a great book um it's very funny easy to read and a lot to digest as well so recommend for you to uh as you're reading it just get a notepad um on your computer and just start just write down all these notes key takeaways what you're going to do and uh, it will really help with your learnings and also improve your sales skills so jeffrey gidema the sales bible check it out it's a great book go to amazon and Let's close some deals.